Hey everybody, okay, so here I am at Gravel Island Brewing, and I'm with the man with a title that I don't understand, but uh, doesn't really matter because he knows his beer, and uh, this is Mike. How's it going? Good, thanks for, uh, thanks for, so we're in the tour room here, yes. so when you, uh, so you do five a day during the summer, correct? Yep, yep, three a day during the winter. Uh, we start off in here talking about beer, what it is, how we brew it, then we head over into the brew house awesome. and uh, take a look at everything. Great, and so we're gonna, I'll show a shot of it later, a little bit later on, Perfect. but uh, what people are seeing behind is the, uh, the beer and wine store. On this side, through the glass wall, is you can actually see the brewery in action, and uh, we're gonna meet uh, the brewer, Kevin, in a little bit, when we do a little food pairing with the yeah. beers, but you've chosen three beers for uh, for me to try today. What are, we, what are we gonna start with? So we're gonna start off with our Van Dane, which is a white ISA. Awesome, now uh, this is uh, Kevin's launch of the small batch here at Gravel Island Brewing. Yeah, one of his, uh, his first beers that he's done with us, uh, and it's sort of a cross between a Belgian wit uh, and a West Coast ISA India Session Ale. So you're getting some nice light hoppy mm -hmm. characters, some orange oh. and coriander, typical Belgian style wit, uh, all coming together quite nicely. Again, I told you before we, uh, when I first came in that I don't drink a lot of IPAs. I'm not a big fan of a lot of yep. that overpowering hoppiness. For sure. Um, that seems to have overtaken the craft beer market for the last little while. But uh, this, there's enough hop that I can taste it, Yeah. but it's not overpowering. Yeah, the India Session Ale style is sort of a response to those overhopped mm -hmm. beers. It's giving you that hop forward flavor profile without being super bitter uh, or overwhelming. Quite enjoy this, and I have a bottle of this in my fridge at home, Fantastic. chilling. So I think I might have this later on because it's pretty hot today. All right, what's up next? Is our uh, Swing Span Amber Ale. Ooh. So this is a West Coast Amber. Uh, you'll Cheers. notice it's a fair bit darker in color. Cheers. Cheers. Um, and we're getting a uh, nice round multi character, uh, but a decent amount of hops as well, using some mosaic and cascade hops. So I find we get a little bit of uh, fruity berry character coming through. I get that. That's delicious. Okay. Again, this is, uh, I think, actually, funny enough, I think I'm really enjoying uh, the Van Dane. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, then we've third. got, um, actually, I haven't tried it yet. It is One Two Punch Belgian one, two punch. IPA. It was just bottled yesterday. Uh, so, this is going to be my first time. Uh, awesome. All right. Well, cheers. It's new cheers to us both sharing a first. Cheers. <laughs> Don't hear that often. Okay. Mmm. Okay, actually, that's not as overpoweringly hoppy as I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, what do we got? We're coming in at uh, 65 IBUs, uh, so it's the most bitter of the three beers we've tried so far, uh, but it also has a bit of a higher alcohol content, and using some cool Belgian yeast, we get those nice uh, estuary flavors. Okay, I'm going to go back to the ISA. Yeah. I'll allow it. Okay, now the one-two punch. ISA takes it for me, everybody, <laughs> but it's still a great here, and you know, that's the great thing about uh, coming to the brewery, you actually get to taste everything that they make on site, and uh, next up, we're going to do a food pairing with these exact three uh, beers, yes. uh, with some food that they make here at the uh, at uh, Grand Island Brewing, so we'll be back right back, we'll be right back with some food. So here I am, uh, with the brewmaster of Grand Island Brewing, Kevin, and uh, and as, I, as you know, you normally pair food with wine, but it's the 21st century, and craft beer is the shits, and uh, so especially here in BC. So what we're gonna do is, you guys have prepared, uh, your chef here on site at the brewery has prepared three dishes to pair with the beer that you make here on site. Um, and I'm about to taste some avocado toast with feta and a balsamic reduction, and you paired that with the Van Dane White ISA. So uh, Kevin, what are some of the, what are the reasons that you paired the two together? First of all, beer is a lovely pairing with food. We gotta take it back from the wine world. Let's take it back for the breweries here. Awesome. Uh, some lovely attributes about the beer when paired with the food are that the carbonation is going to cut through some of the fatty bits uh, as well as the tart acidity, especially with this uh, white ISA. It's got a fair amount of tartness from the fermentation and from the hops and that is cutting through the fat of the feta and the avocado and the balsamic reduction kind of pairs up that tartness. Yeah, it's actually, it's funny, it's um, you know, the white ISA is great to drink on its own, mm -hmm. but it actually, um, it's really enhanced when you have it with food. Yeah. Which brings us to our second food pairing, which is a bacon shallot reduction with goat gouda and granny smith apple, which um, that just has, you know, uh, BC screaming all over it. And this we paired with the uh, swing span, the amber ale. The swing span amber ale, that's Okay, right. I'm going to eat, you talk. Great. So uh, <laughs> this dish is really a combination of some sweet and savory flavors. You get uh, some of those natural sugars and that umami from the, the meat as well. So that really pairs nicely with the swing span which has the, the darker malts, as you can see, 
uh, that really complements the meat flavors and the chutney and uh, some of the crystal malts also bring out kind of a raisiny sweetness a little mm. bit that uh, work right with the chutney as well. And then cheese and beer is such a great pairing. Okay, this was, so when I was drinking this on, on its own, the swing span was my least favorite of the three that I tried. However, I have to say, um, yeah, two thumbs up. I'm really, really enjoying this. I'll drink to that. Yeah, cheers, well done. Okay, and uh, third, now I've named this the, uh, the Gewürztraminer beer uh, pairing here. We've got a uh, the one-two punch uh, IPA with a spicy veggie samosa uh, with chutney. And um, and you said there's a great reason why these go well together. Okay, well, uh, the one-two punch is a Belgian IPA mm. and that Belgian yeast kicks out a lot of, a lot of natural estery flavors. It comes out across as sort of spice and that melts really nicely with the curry flavors and the samosa. And often we see IPA pairings with curries and Indian mm. foods because um, the, the hoppiness really works great with that huge depth of flavor. You're just getting flavor on all fronts really amped up um, and it helps to cut the spice a little bit as well. Okay, you may actually have converted me to enjoy IPAs. All right. <laughs> I, think, um, I think from now on, whenever I go to a brewery and I'm poured an IPA, I'm gonna bring my own little stack <laughs> of like spicy veggie samosas um, to try because that that's really phenomenal. Nice. Good thing is here at Granville Island Brewing, you don't have to bring your own samosas like I might to other places because you can have all of this here. So again, avocado toast with feta balsamic reduction, a bacon shallot uh, jam with uh, the smoked gouda and Granny Smith apple, and then the spicy veggie samosa with a lovely little chutney paired with the Van Dame White ISA, the Swing Spin, and the One Two Punch IPA here with the brewmaster Kevin at Ground Island Brewing. You got to come and check it out. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, here, fine.